Hi, I'm Anna and I'm from Florida and I'm here for the Pro Choice March. And who are you here representing? M myself. <laughs>
I drive too fast, pull me over to tell me so. I stay out here on the prairie and his feet is too slow. I miss Brooklyn, I miss my crew, let's start over, I miss my cue. Guess I forgot who I was talking to.
government does not belong in our bedrooms. It does not belong in our doctor's offices. It does not belong snooping into the bank accounts of innocent Americans. This assault on our privacy, on our civil liberties, on our civil rights must stop now. I ask that we get angry, that we speak out, stand up, join forces, and together we can protect our threatened and endangered freedom. This is a scary time. We must prevail. We have no choice but to protect choice. We are determined to see the global gag rule eliminated so that women in the developing nations do not suffer because of our short-sighted policies. Women of the world need the United States to stop its mean-spirited policies that are cutting family planning funding and turning it in to abstinence-only funding. The young women and men of this nation cannot have policies that advocate abstinence-only. And we cannot go back to a day of back alley abortions. Never again. I'm happy in the earth move under my feet. Happy in the sky tumbling down, a tumbling down, a tumbling down, a tumbling down, tumbling down.
arguments. I was 26 years old. I was scared. I was doing a volunteer case, and I had a lot of people helping me know how to talk to the Supreme Court. As I came today, I thought how we were walking the steps of the suffragettes and how much we owe them for the right to vote. Now, exactly. And now we come together worried about what will happen next in the U.S. Supreme Court. We can argue our best but you must help us with judges who are fair and who will listen to our arguments. We will say pro. We will say our rights to privacy. Thank you. I am Julianne Moore, and I am a pro-choice American. I'm proud to be an American because I have choices about my life, because I have the freedom to make very personal and private decisions about my body and about my family. I have always had that right, unlike women from earlier generations in this country when both abortion and birth control were illegal. I am here today because those hard-won freedoms are being eroded, and we Americans, the champions of freedom in the world, are at a point in our history where the freedom of choice we have taken for granted is gravely threatened. We are all here today because we believe that it is an elementary right of free women to be able to make a free choice about their bodies and their future. That means when one woman is enslaved by laws restricting freedom of choice, all are not free. That means a welfare mother in Alabama with an unexpected pregnancy who cannot get funds for an abortion. That means a mother of six who must listen to anti-abortion propaganda before she can get an abortion in Kansas. That means a Nebraskan woman who was raped and whose insurance will not cover the abortion she needs. We can show our solidarity with women who are being restricted in their choice by state and now federal laws and say, I am a woman who has had an unwanted pregnancy. I am a woman who might one day face a difficult and painful decision to terminate a pregnancy. I am her husband or boyfriend who is also affected by that decision, but who must support her right to control her own body. Yeah. Yeah. I am a pro-choice American. and an America that will make us proud. Yeah. Vote! Yeah. You are so beautiful out there! What does it mean to be free? At a minimum, it means that women have the right to make their own decisions about their own health. And we will settle for nothing less than freedom, than equality, and choice. We were promised a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we are here today, today all of us, all million of us today, to see to it that those promises are kept.
recounted and re-examined, or else we are fated to repeat it. Like so many of us here, I have a personal history with pregnancy and miscarriage and motherhood and abortion. I am here to represent the old guard, and I am the one who's no longer physically able to bear children. That, as they say, is history. Before Roe v. Wade, 31 years ago, abortion was illegal in nearly two-thirds of the United States, except in cases where the life of the woman was in danger. What was misunderstood then, and what is not fully understood now, is that whenever a woman becomes pregnant, feels herself to be emotionally, financially, or spiritually incapable of carrying a fetus to term, of bearing a baby, and most importantly, of raising a child into the person she can protect and care for all of the, her life, her life is endangered. The life as she understands it so far, the life she has envisioned for herself, her life is always endangered. I am here because of Emma, because of all of our daughters, whose futures are unbelievably threatened by this administration. This is my third march here, like a lot of you, and frankly, I can't believe it. What part of equal rights do they not understand? Why, why is freedom for women so threatening to them? Well, we are not going to go backwards. See, I expect more, all of us expect more out of our government, not less. I want to be here fighting for more rights. I, I expect more for Emma's future, for all of our daughters' futures, not less. I expect so much more out of this country. I was just told that we have made history today with 1,150,000 martyrs. The need school board may need jails, and that's where our society fails. First seven years creates a child's foundation. It's mandatory for a healthy nation. So I'm fired up and gonna take it no more. We're tired up and gonna take it no more. You say cool down, we say step down. You're breaking my mother's heart. joined by our sisters and brothers from other nations. We are women, we are strong, and we shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. My dear sisters and brothers in America, I stand before you privileged to represent 180 countries which make up the International Plan Food Federation, as well as all the international delegates who have traveled from 57 countries to march here with you today. We have come this far to echo the anguish and concerns 
for the millions of women around the world whose access to sexual and reproductive health and rights are being denied and voices being gagged as a result of current policies of the United States government. Our voices will not be stifled. We will remain brave and angry as long as women's health and lives are in jeopardy. Reproductive freedom is a human right and friends, rights have no borders. Together, we can make a difference. Indeed. We are all in this thing together. If we do not hang together, we will hang separately. It is a critical time in America. They have trying to roll back every right. Not only women's rights, civil rights, human rights, every kind of right. But we will not stand for it. Majority of the people in this country who are religious are for pro-choice. Francis has recently learned the power of the word no. And it is a very, very powerful word. So at my house, we've learned to reframe the questions to get the answers we want. Francis, do you think we should re-elect President Bush? No! Francis, do you think it was right to cut family planning funds for USAID overseas? No! Francis, does anyone have the right to restrict your freedom with repressive laws and threaten to take away your right to make decisions about your own body? No!
of us and our families. I'm Senator Barbara Boxer, and I'm pro-choice. We stand on the shoulders of all the earlier organizers. We build on the strength of our prior mass actions, each one better, each time, with greater understanding of the connection among our issues. Guys, I know you've met a lot of people today, and you've heard a lot of great things. I want to thank you for coming, and thank you for my being part of this. You know, this is the most extraordinary, one of the greatest events of my life. Women will fight to protect their freedoms. Keep your job. Let women keep their choice.